Hello everyone, this is Diane. I am going to attempt to show you something on my laptop. This is uh, very unusual for me. I am not the person to ask how to do things on a computer. I'm not very um, tech savvy. My son has to help me with a lot of stuff. But this is something that I learned from Paulette's Facebook group. She has um, TLC Creates Vintage on Etsy and I believe her Facebook group is called Printables for Your Journals printables for your junk journal, something like that. So she figured out how to do this and she shared it with us. And um, so what I'm doing is I'm working on a um, design team project for the old design shop and I'm using an ephemera kit. Some of the pieces I want smaller. Um, I will use them the size they print and then I would like some smaller. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So I'm I'm at my um, folders screen and I'm going to go to downloads. Now, um, where is it? Okay, this is the folder that I want Ephemera's Ephemera Variety Set 4, Folder 1, Old Design Shop. I'm going to go to folder 2 because I've already printed some of the stuff from folder 1. Oops. I'm still learning how to best use my um, touch screen. So, um, this is obviously a sheet that will print four pieces of ephemera. These will be a little bit large. Let me see if I have them here. Because I printed everything once. Yeah. Oh, there's that one. Anyway, I just want to print it a little smaller. So you have to have... It won't work being right here. Make sure you can see. I know you're getting some reflection too. Um, I'm sorry. Just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'll zoom back in again when I need to. Okay. All right. So this will not work. So I need to take this and let me see what the next page is. Oh. Are they both the same? Okay, that's a different one. Okay, so I'm going to take these two pages. So what I'm going to do is cut and paste these into another spot in my folder. So this is highlighted. So that's what you do is highlight it. If you have um, a laptop that's not a touch screen, you would right click. You have two buttons below your touchpad. Right here is my touchpad. You would have two, two buttons, left and right. So you would right click. I don't have those anymore, so I had to figure out how to do that. I guess my, um, I, I guess it works to just touch it there, but I always have trouble. So anyway, oh, where'd you go? So I'm going to just hold my finger there, and then when I release it. It doesn't say copy, so I'm going to do it again. There's copy. Now I'm going to go out. And I'm just going to paste it in here. So um, I, had to, I had to Google how to paste. So I'm going to hit Control and V and there it's right there you would right click to copy and then go here and tap where you want it to go and then uh, right click again and touch paste so I'm going to go back and well that's a different one. I touched a different one, but I'll go ahead and do this one. Um, well, all I really need to do is highlight it. Okay, so I'm going to highlight it. 
hope it's not the same one I just did because <laughs> I can't remember. So I'm going to hold it or you would right click it. Now this just says paste. Why isn't it saying copy? There. Copy. And control V. This moved over here because it puts it in alphabetical order. Okay, so now I have those right here where I want them. Anything that's not in a folder, you can do this with. So these are not in a folder. So I'm going to press control on my keypad on my keyboard here. So I have control. And you would put your mouse here and click, um, left click, but I'm going to just tap it to highlight it. Whatever you do to highlight it, hold control while you do it. So they're both highlighted. I'm still holding control and I'm going to um, right click, see if I can do that with this. Okay, so I, I did a right click on my touchpad here and it, up here it says print and it went away. So I'm going to do that again. print. So it's showing one of the pages. I'm going to hit fit picture to frame and it shrinks it just a little bit just to make sure the edges are all in. And then you can either do 4x6 or 5x7. I'm going to do 5x7 and it shows you this is one sheet of paper and it's going to print all of these images. So they obviously will be smaller. I can release control and just hit print. I I have trouble, um, it's supposed to be a wireless printer, but I have trouble connecting it to my new uh, laptop. So I have it plugged in with a cord and my printer takes a while to work. So I'll just wait and maybe I'll do another one while I wait. I hope this wasn't too confusing. I, okay, so this one is a map, and it's it's this big. So I would like to have it smaller. Are you going to print for me, computer? I mean, printer. Sometimes I have to turn it off and then turn it back on. But you see the technique. When it prints, it will print them smaller. And those are also larger pieces, so I'm going to take both of them. Yeah. Oh, I can only do one at a time, but... <laughs> First I have to highlight it, okay. I'm going to turn my printer off. I touched the button and it came to life. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm going, going to put that map in my folder. I like to do this sort of thing while I'm watching TV because it, it, I lay my arm on my, on my um, laptop and everything goes away just because of the angle I'm at. This is not a very good um, tutorial, is it? All right, I turned my printer off. Copy. I don't know if that's going to work because it doesn't seem like the copy is highlighted like it should be. Let's just see. Yep, it worked. Okay.
I'm not very fast at it yet because of this computer. I'm not used to the touch screen. just says paste. I think sometimes it doesn't know that I want to copy now instead of paste. Why doesn't it know? Gotta highlight it first, Diane. There. Copy. turn my printer back on see if it'll actually do something now I'm going to hold control and touch this one and this one and I'm going to right click I guess it this doesn't pop up to your release the right click um, print oh no it's printing them both it's not what I wanted it to do it's going to be full size so let's do that again. My arm laid on the pad again. Print, fit picture to frame, five by seven. There we go, it'll be smaller. Now if I wanted the map to be even smaller, we'll do that too, I'll show you that. Let's just say I wanna do the map. I don't have to hold control for this. I'm just gonna use one. So I'll right click and hit print, hit picture to frame, and then I'm going to go into three and a half by five. I hope I've been zoomed in enough for you to see what I'm doing. I forgot to zoom back in, but this will print it four times. But I have to say I want four copies. Sometimes my thing. Ah. Okay. Let's do this. I think my finger is too big to touch that little thing. Okay. It's going to be four copies. There we go. And now my printer is printing because I turned it off and turned it back on. So here we have the smaller. piece right there. This is the large piece that I printed by accident. Oops, you can't see that. I hope I hit print here. Maybe I didn't. And then, and then we'll get smaller maps. So this is where it printed with one map and, and those to graphs. Oh. The maps are printing. And so there we go with four maps. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to continue working on ephemera pieces for these journals and then I will do a video one of these days. Um, I'm not sure when. I'm going to be watching my grandsons tomorrow, but maybe the day after that. The day after that's the 4th of July, but I'm not doing anything till afternoon. So I'll do videos of um, the process of making the ephemera with these pieces and then they will eventually go into a journal that I will put in my shop. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this helpful. If you found it helpful and not too confusing, I know I'm gonna get thumbs down, <laughs> thumbs down on this video, but if you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.